Hey guys, it's me, the Lucky 27, and welcome to the first video of my Paldean Shiny Living Dex Challenge. I was looking for something that I could do until the new Pokemon comes out, which is in 2025, so I decided I wanted to get every single shiny in Paldea. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys all the shinies I found in day one. Hope you enjoy the video. So I think the smartest thing to do is go for the first um, line Pokemon first because I can get three of them in one sandwich for example and I can evolve the other two into the ones that I need. So um, yeah, we're gonna be going for the uh, for the slack up. Since I really wanna get this project done before the Pokemon ZA comes out, I will be using sandwiches and outbreaks to make my odds go up as much as I can. But as you can see from the first Pokemon I found, sometimes having an encounter power sandwich and an outbreak going still doesn't get you the shiny you're looking for, which makes this all the more fun. Oh, wait a second. Is that the first shiny of this challenge? Yes it is, and it's not even what I'm looking for! Shiny Neckly! Let's go though! Okay, I'm gonna put Lila in front. And this is gonna be the first encounter! Let's freaking go! Never gotten this shiny before. Shiny Neckly, the first shiny of the challenge. And, you might not know yet, but I'm gonna be catching all of the shinies in heel balls because i think that's something i haven't done before like catching every time in the same ball it's gonna be hard for some of the for, for some of the shinies but for this is gonna be quite easy there we go first shiny of the challenge and first shiny of this video let's freaking go shiny number one shiny neckly i was using a sparkling power sandwich for a normal type and neckly is not a normal type which makes this shiny a one in 1365 odds Shiny. After finding this Neckly, it took me 30 minutes to find the next Shiny. Hey! Ooh! Okay! It's a Yumbo sized one as well, let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! There is the first one I was actually looking for. Let's throw a ball at it. Oh my god! And this is actually the ball that matches perfect with this Pokemon too. Let's see if it's the first crit capture. There we go, it is. Number two out of the 390. It's funny to me how one shiny can take 30 minutes, but the next one could only take two. Oh, what? That's literally two minutes, not even two minutes in. Another slack out. Oh my God, we're flying through these. Let's freaking go. Slack out number two for the decks. Let's see if it's a crit capture again. Oh my god, if we get one more, we're done with the slack out line in fo in like in total. That would be so nice. Let's go! Slack out number two. Since I really wanted to have the full slack out line done, I kept looking for some more. But instead of finding more pink sloth, I found these. Oh, is that a sh Oh, that's definitely shiny. What is that color? I was looking at that. What the hell? Is this like a young goose? Oh. Is it a young goose or a gum shoes or whatever it's called? I think it's a young goose. Oh yeah, it's a young goose. Okay, let's let's catch it. This is the third shiny in the same sandwich. That's crazy. Two shiny slack off. And now a shiny young goose in the same sandwich. There we go. Throw a heel ball. Crit capture. Yep. This level should be a crit capture every time. There we go, shiny number three. Oh, actually, four. Oh, no, not again, that's number four in this sandwich. Six minutes after the last one. Another young goose. Six minutes young goose. Twice in a row. That's crazy. Well, this sandwich is the best sandwich so far, by far. Not the one we're looking for, of course, but I don't care. Like, I needed two young goose either way, so uh, I could evolve one of these into, uh, what is it, gumshoes? And we'll have them both. Just fire. Like, I don't even have to hunt for it. That's crazy, man. As you've probably already seen, the counter hasn't been going up since I've been catching some duplicates. But when I evolved them, I actually count them. So, that's what I did. I evolved Slackoth into Figaro, but the second young goose I caught wasn't able to evolve yet since it wasn't daytime yet. So, I kept looking for some more shinies. And this is what I found. Oh! 
Oh, hello there. That is not what we're looking for. We are using a Mongo normal power though, so I mean, yeah, they're, they're quite a bit of them are actually bigger than they should be. That is a long face. 30 minutes for this first one and 9 minutes now, so 39 minutes. Well, we got something. We'll take any shinies we can get. 39 minutes to find it. Crit capture, there we go. That is number 5. We could be at number 6, but uh, I haven't evolved one of them yet. Hey, shiny good shoes. Let's go. Oh, a golden ball. Golden ball, a golden ball, a golden ball. Let's freaking go. That's golden ball number one. I've been I've been getting really unlucky for some reason. I don't know why. Um It's a big one though. Let's go for it. The golden boy meets another golden boy. Forever room. Let's go. Of course, you should always put this in a luxury ball. But I'm doing a heal ball only. So get in the heal ball. There we go. I've got so many of these shinies. I did uh, I did a couple of them uh, for a video, I'm pretty sure. So um doesn't matter. We'll just get some more. It's just it's really nice looking shiny, so I don't mind. Okay, here we go. Shiny Relo, let's find another one. Oh my god, that is so quick. That is so quick. That was only two minutes. And we've got Relo number two. Let's freaking go. Go, crate capture. And there's Shiny Rella number two. For this amazing shiny Pokemon to evolve, you have to throw it out of its Pokeball and then just simply take it for a walk. Once it's done over a thousand steps, you just feed it one rare candy, level it up, and it should evolve into its amazing next form. Oh, one of the prettiest shinies in this game. The golden ball looks perfect as it is. Then look at this. Look at the color combination of this thing. It looks amazing. This is such a cool shiny. Look at the back as well. Amazing. Okay guys, so for shiny 8 and 9, I'm trying to find a shiny Ted Bolt. And there's a, a funny thing you could do um, to find shiny Ted Bolt, which is you need to go to this place called the Highest Peak, which of course is the highest place on the whole map of Paldea. Um, then when you're up there, you want to make a sandwich. So as you can see, I just made a sparkling sandwich for electric. Uh, I use sparkling title and encounter power level three. Then you want to come down to the side where you have the waterfall. So what you want to do is you want to go up here. You want to go look at that. And as you can see, there's loads of tadpole just randomly spawning there, um, which all have the encounter sandwich and stuff uh, boosts. So yeah, that's basically what you want to do. When you want to respawn them, what I do is I jump over here I go to the edge right here, as you can see they're all despawned, I jump back, fly back, it could be, can be a little bit tricky to get up here, but once you're up here you should see they're already being spawned, and you can count them, if it's up to 16 you know for sure there's a shiny in between there, but I think I can find them just by looking at them. Sixteen. Wait a second. Is that sixteen? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. Fifteen. I count sixteen. I don't see you, shiny. Oh, <gasps> there it is. It is shiny. Yes, the counting actually helped. Oh my God, the shining. Oh, the counting actually helped. Shiny Tadbulb. This is after so many, it's all the way up there, you can't even see it. This is after so many freaking minutes. This is the longest hunt so far and it's horrible to see and I've been counting and it's actually, I needed to count. 
told you it was an easy easy hunt, but it's not yeah, it's easy to do, but it's not easy to get. Oh my god, that took ages. There we go. Shiny Ted Bulb. Shiny number eight. We're still going, even though this took the longest hunt so far. This was by far the longest hunt so far. As you can see, the shiny sandwich is just finished. So that means this one took 150 minutes, which is the longest hunt so far, which means it's actually two and a half hours for finding the shiny. Look at that shiny Ted Bob. And the sad part is we need another one to evolve into the, uh, the next form. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is that red? Half, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Is that sixteen or did I count that incorrect? Let's check. That looks a bit more red. That looks a bit more red. Yes! Oh my god, the sandwich after the, the counting is the play. The counting is the play. I want that one. Right there. There we go. Yes, shiny Ted Bulb number two. We're done with the Ted Bulbs. I hate hunting this Pokemon, so I'm so glad it's over. I've done it many times before and every time it's been it's been a pain. But yes, there we go. Shiny Ted Bulb number two. We're done with the Ted Bulb line. We can move on to something else. And this is actually shiny number two. Nine if we evolve it into the uh, the next one. I made a little mistake, it actually is the shiny number ten. That is so quick. That is so quick. That's only two minutes in. Oh, let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Shiny flittle already, two minutes in. Deserve that after the last hunt. Because the last hunts have been horrible. <laughs> it took so long to find uh, the Ted Bulb, so um, I'm happy about this. Let's go. That was so easy to see too. This is one of the first shiny hunts I've ever done in the game as well. And uh, I struggled so much on finding it the first time ever. I remember being on a spot where there's just loads of random other Pokemon next to the outbreak. And I couldn't find this for so long. I stayed on it for days. I just kept like putting the clock back to, uh, to stay on the outbreak and uh, I found it eventually. Never evolved it I think though, so did I? Oh, I think I did, I think I did. So let's just uh, get another one and evolve it. Let's freaking go, shiny 11, shiny flittle. And another one, oh my god, another one. Just like that, how many minutes in? That is only four minutes after, that is crazy. Four minutes, flittle number two. We're done with it, flittle already, what the hell? What the hell? I can't believe the first hunt I ever done was this Pokemon and it took days to get it. I can't believe that. Let's go. Okay, now it should be in, right? Now it should be in. It already ate like 12 balls, so I'm like, yeah, there we go. Flittle is evolving. We've got another one of the badge crates. Is it Espatra? It is, right? Espatra. That is such a cool looking shiny. That's such an upgrade from Flitto as well. After finding the second Pokemon of the line, I really didn't know what to do with the psychic sparkling power anymore, so I just started running around the map and actually found two more Pokemons in the same sandwich, which makes this the second sandwich of the day that actually gave me four shinies in one sandwich, which is crazy. These are the ones I found. There we go, in the heel ball crit capture, shiny number 13, let's freaking go. Oh, oh my god, another shiny in the same sandwich. <laughs> I literally got 38 seconds left, that is crazy. So we got the first two in its first 8 minutes, no 6 minutes. 
Then it took 12 minutes to get the next one, and then another 12, I, I would say, to get this one. That is crazy, and this is not any, like, it's got nothing to do with the sand which I'm using. That is nice, though. Don't have to hunt this down again. Tarantula. So today turned out to be a really good hunting day because we got in total 14 of 390 shinies. If you do want to support the channel and you want to see all the other videos I'm going to be posting about this shiny living dex, please just subscribe underneath and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. See ya.